Trail Ridge Road, which is also known as Highway 34 and goes through Rocky Mountain National Park from the Estes side to the Granby side, is the highest continuously paved road in America. It goes up to elevation, 11,000 plus feet in elevation. And you can see here, there's some RV parking, some of the bigger spaces, um, not pull throughs though. So you're gonna have to detach your toad. And then there's uh, car parking. The visitor center was there a second ago, um, some bathrooms. And then there is a trail, which is the Alpine Ridge Trail. Right to the top, this is the Alpine Ridge Trail up by the Alpine Ridge Visitor Center. So there's a spot here to use bathrooms and to go in and get a bite to eat or check out some of the stuff, talk to the rangers. Here's some of the animals you might see. Pika, elk. The elk are in the rut right now, so we can hear them bugling off in the distance. Sunflowers, forget me nots, about all the flowers are kind of done. It's a little too cold, it's about to be fall. Tundra protection area. We went stomping around the tundra. <clears throat> there would be no tundra. So, we have to stay on the path and lightning danger. They want to make sure that people are not going on this trail when there's lightning and no dogs. And they warn you right there too. Don't ascend when there's lightning and thunderstorms because it's very dangerous and lightning strikes happen every year. Generally, our storm showers and everything tend to hit in the afternoon here in Colorado. So if you are planning to do a hike that takes you above tree line, so above like 11,000 feet, it's best to start that in the morning and make sure that you're already descending down the mountain by the early afternoon so you can avoid lightning strikes. This trail is only open for about four months around the summertime and early fall. Of course, Trail Ridge Road actually closes for the winter time once the snow falls and uh, they are not clearing the road really until after Memorial Day, but it's an easy hike. Uh, it is only about a half mile when you go round trip, but don't let that fool you. There's 225 steps that you need to take to get up to the top of the trail and you have a 200 foot elevation gain in those 225 steps. So it's a pretty heavy duty trail and it is nicknamed Huffer's Hill for that reason. It is also pretty windy up here. That's why I'm overlaying audio here on the video, but you get some amazing, beautiful views where you're really having these 360 views. There's interpretive signs along the way where you can stop and read it and kind of take in the views and catch your breath. This one in particular happens to be talking about the elevation gain and how it's difficult to breathe at altitude and how you might be having some altitude sickness issues. We always recommend to people to spend at least a day in Denver and try to acclimate to the higher altitude before you jump right up into the high country and try to do you know, a hike at 11,000 feet when you're coming from sea level. Um, this sign happens to be talking about some of the animals you might see up here. Marmot are very common, although they're a little bit smaller than maybe the ones you've been used to at places like Mount Rainier or something. But there's marmot up here, pika, you can see elk, and actually this time of year is in the fall, and so the elk are in rut. You can hear them bugling, which is really cool. You can see the visitor center down there below as we are hitting the top of the trail up here at 12,000 feet. If it was springtime, this would actually be a good spot to be able to check out the alpine flowers that are up here. You can see on this sign, they're telling you about the different peaks and what you're looking at off into the distance. But like I mentioned, you have that 360 degree view all the way around. I hope this little video was useful for you on seeing the Alpine Ridge Trail and whether or not you'd wanna hike this. And thanks so much for watching. If you want more content about the national parks, you can follow us and subscribe. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook at RV Homeschool. Thanks so much for watching.